Hello and welcome to the Facebook Ads course 2023. I'm really excited about this particular course. This is the first video of the course and in this video what we are going to discuss is um, what should you expect from this course, some things about this course, a little bit about me if you haven't watched my previous videos and then we will start with the introduction to Facebook ads, right? So let me tell you about this course first. So what should I expect from this course okay if you have this question so by the end of this course you should be able to master for uh, Facebook ads when I say master Facebook ads I mean that you will have the agency level knowledge where you can basically the same knowledge as someone working for an agency and what kind of strategies will be used from the fundamentals like we will start from the fundamentals the things you should know because I see some people who have directly jumped into working into Facebook ads they never paid attention to fundamentals and later in their career they lack um, in certain things which I will explain all of them and basically you will be able to plan and execute campaigns when I say plan so if a client comes to you they say okay we want to invest in Facebook ads this is our objective this is our website you should be able to kind of create a strategy together and tell them okay you know what this is how we should run ads for you these are the tests we should do and this is how you basically run profitable campaigns and you should be able to basically look at the right metrics and prove to them that, uh, that they are running profitable campaigns with you what are the prerequisites because i discuss all these questions to which usually people have in mind before starting a course so i thought i'll put all of them questions together so that i answer all of them there's no prerequisites this course will start from really the basics the fundamentals and um, then obviously we will go to the expert level and who is this course for this is this course is for business owners who want to run their own campaigns or who are working with someone and they want to understand if they are following the best practices or not and then also for marketing professionals who are working into this particular industry maybe on google ads or they just started they want to do a comprehensive course or someone who just wants to make a career in facebook ads and learn from the fundamentals and um, with deep uh, knowledge and i mean expert level now how is this course structured i have been training for a while and i understand that the structure of the course is the most important in terms of the learning curve right a lot of efforts for me go into uh, structuring the course like this is the first video and I have spent a lot of hours in just structuring the course. We'll initially focus on fundamentals and um, as well in this course you will go through the theoretical knowledge you need to know talking to the clients or meetings or stuff like that. At the same time we'll discuss about some of the strategies like the basic framework how you come up with a strategy how you structure your campaign what how do you create your campaign and what things do you keep in mind and then obviously the execution there will be a lot of videos where we will be actually going to the platform creating campaigns and discussing every step and every uh, setting available in a campaign or ad sets or whatever and then i will have wherever there are theoretical concepts and some concepts i uh, believe there's an uh, it's important to have a quiz i'll add the link to the quiz and you it will be multiple question choice but that quiz will be designed in such a way that if you miss something um, in the concepts and fundamentals it will clarify further and at least you would know what you didn't understand and what you did and there will be some exercises as well obviously i cannot check your exercises because there will be a lot of people who will be watching this but i'll design them in a way that uh, you understand while doing the exercise uh, kind of how did you do and how you can compare your work once you're done and then yes um, practice online everything is free you can create all of the entities you need for running facebook campaigns so you can practice you can create multiple dummy campaigns uh, if you have watched any of my courses before then you know how this goes okay and if you haven't been to any of my videos before or any courses i'll give you a brief about myself my name is Oves ahmed and i have been in digital marketing industry for over nine years now i think i started in 2014 and um, I have worked on tech side, I worked um, for Google on platforms like DFP and other um, ad exchange and then I have worked on agency side, I have worked with Bupin, I have worked with some global agencies, let's say Initiative, I have worked with some biggest uh, clients um, in the country, for example I have worked in UAE, I'm based in Berlin, Germany now, I have worked in India as well 
and then I have worked on client side roles as well. For example, currently I'm working for Delivery Hero. And um, yeah, I, I mean, if we just talk about Facebook ads, I have executed or overseen or supervised, let's say $20 million spent minimum on Facebook on all the campaigns I was responsible for. And um, I have been a certified trainer for the last six years. I did trainings in Google for two and a half years on different um, ad tech platforms. And I have worked with a variety of clients. So um, I think you're in safe hands. Okay, so that was a lot about the course and myself. And so we start with the section one. In this particular section, we will discuss about introduction to Facebook ads. I'll give you an idea about what Facebook is, what, what do they have in mind like as a company and how does uh, Facebook ads look like? right if you are super new to this field i'll tell you like how do the ads look like i'll tell you why do advertisers basically create ads why do they run ads why do they spend money on advertising right what are the overall goals we'll discuss all of them in detail but in this video i'll just give you a glimpse into all these things and we'll discuss some points which are very important even if you are experienced just stay around it might give you a different perspective about something <clears throat> The first thing is Facebook and Meta. What is Facebook? What is Meta, right? Facebook is a platform like we have Facebook website, we have Facebook app, right? We have Messenger app. And then uh, Facebook, which started as Facebook.com, they started acquiring different companies. Let's say later they acquired Instagram, later they ex uh, acquired Oculus, um, the VR headset company. And uh, then it was still called Facebook Inc. So all um, these products would come in Facebook Inc. as a company. But recently with the hype in Metaverse, uh, Facebook changed their name. Facebook Inc. changed their name to Meta, right? So the whole, com whole company is called Meta now, but Facebook is still an individual platform. Now, to understand, to give you a perspective about why Facebook ads is important and if you want to be in digital marketing or you want to invest in digital marketing. So the current world population is 7.8 billion. Okay, that's the world population. Now, if you look at uh, these numbers here, Meta reaches 3.6 billion people each month. So more than almost half of the population, the whole world's population, which includes uh, some third world countries as well, where you don't have internet, like some places where you don't have internet. Some of them are infants. They don't have a phone or any laptop or anything. Some of them are really old. They don't use internet devices, right? Still out of 7.8, 3.6 billion people can be reached through uh, any of the meta platforms, right? Every month, which means at least 3.6 billion people at least use any of these platforms once in a month right out of which facebook uh two point has 2.9 billion users they used to grow every quarter now a few quarters it has been kind of stagnant and tiktok is rising now and they are taking some of the share whatsapp 2 billion active users messenger which is facebook messenger is 1.3 billion and instagram is 1 billion when it comes to digital marketing, the primary objective of any digital marketing campaign is to show um, basically paid ads is to show ads to people, to reach out to people, to tell people about a particular company, offer, brand, product, right? You tell them, okay, this is a product we are selling. Do you want to buy or a service or anything? So that's the objective, right? Reach how many people can be reached. So which means Using Facebook ads, if you want to show your ads, you can reach to half of the world population. Obviously, nobody advertises globally to all countries or everyone, but this is just to give you an idea. And 74% of people who have a smartphone and connected to the internet use one of the meta platforms once a day. So if your customers are or your clients customers are people who have a smartphone, which in most cases it would be true, then 74% of the people use any of the meta platforms on their smartphone. So which means you can reach out to 74% of the people. Why I'm telling you this is important for you because later when you create strategies, you talk to the clients, you need to know these kind of facts, right? And uh, it gives you a kind of a perspective. Now, specifically, that was about meta platforms and their reach and how many people. Now, talking about Facebook ads now, right? 
90% of the marketers use Facebook ads. In my nine years of career, I have never seen a client who has a digital marketing budget and they do not use Facebook ads. I'm telling you frankly, 100% of the clients I have ever worked on, if they run ads online, they use uh, Facebook ads. But as per the stats, it says 90%. Maybe there are certain industries who run only Google, let's say. It's uh, app developers. They have just small budget. They prefer running it on Google ads, running UAC campaigns, app campaigns. Maybe there are 10%, which is a small number. 20 to 30% of all digital spend went on Facebook ads in 2022. I'm not surprised. So all the media buying, so all the advertisers who spend their money on online advertising, 30%, 20 to 30% of that spent went to Facebook. It's a huge number because there are so many platforms where you can advertise. There is Google Ads, there is DV360, there is Facebook Ads, TikTok, Snapchat, LinkedIn. These are all Snap, YouTube. These are all like social media. And then there are websites. There are millions and billions of websites, big websites. There is Shopify. There is so many places to advertise basically and if one of the partner which is Facebook is taking 20 to 30 percent it's huge basically it's the second biggest Google takes almost I think 30 to 40 percent based on the research because nobody can tell you the exact so based on the research uh, 30 to 40 percent of all the online digital spend goes to Google and 20 to 30 percent goes to Facebook and rest is like spread across other platforms. But this is just to give you an idea how huge Facebook ads, ads is, right? Certain companies just run Facebook ads. Their all the media spend goes to Facebook ads because it gives results, which we will discuss in detail because that's what this course is about. Now I want to give you, we'll discuss all of them in detail in when time comes, but I want to give you an idea that why do advertisers use Facebook ads? Now each of these companies has one or multiple objectives why they use Facebook ads and Facebook makes their life easy and makes their algorithms support them in these kind of goals. Like when an advertiser or a company spends money on advertising, they have a particular goal. We want to improve sales. We want to do whatever. Let me give you a brief idea about why do advertisers use Facebook ads for? What, what kind of goals do they have, right? We'll discuss all of them in detail though. So the first one, this uh, picture here shows that these are six objectives which Facebook asks you. Whenever you run ads on Facebook, the first question it asks you is, what's your objective? So you'll have to select one of these six. Now, some advertisers use multiple ones because they have multiple objects, which objectives, which I'll explain, but just to give you an idea. The first one is awareness. Some companies, they want to create awareness. For example, let's say iPhone is launching a new phone and they want people to know about it. That's it. They don't want anything else from the Facebook campaigns. They don't want to tell Facebook, OK, when we run campaigns, we should get orders online. They just want people to know that iPhone is launching a new product, a new phone. Right. And rest, they have already done different kind of marketing that people will buy it. It's just they want people to know. Right. This is one example. A company has a new offer, let's say a winter sale, summer sale, whatever. They just want people to know. For example, Colombia wants people to know that, okay, uh, we have a summer sale, right? People will see it. They will go to their shops, retail outlets and buy stuff. But using Facebook ads, they just want people to know, right? And then a restaurant, new restaurant, uh, let's say near my house, new uh, Pizza Hut, uh, opened a new store there, right? Uh, a restaurant there. So they want people in this area to know that, okay, we opened a restaurant, this is the address and whatever. And then there is top of mind awareness. Some people, some companies, they just want to create top of mind awareness. So for example, there are companies who cannot, uh, basically everyone is their client, but they wouldn't know when somebody will be their client, right? Let's say dating apps, right? Dating apps, they use a different kind of strategy. They tell, they reach to almost everyone in a particular age group and tell them, okay, you know what, Bumble, Tinder, we are a company, we are the best dating app, blah, 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 whatever they have to say. And they don't expect everyone to install it right away because they just want to create top of mind awareness. So when somebody needs 
a dating app and they are like okay i want to do i want to go for online dating and whatever the first thing they open their app store and download tinder or bumble or whatever right these are the kind of companies who just want to create top of mind awareness within people and so whenever they need they know where to go <clears throat> then the second one here is traffic so a simple example would be like companies they want to run facebook ads their objective is just to create uh, traffic to their website that's it for example bbc.com sometimes when they have a dipping traffic they see that in certain market we don't have much traffic on bbc.com website they want to generate more traffic to their website so that they can show ads and earn money and he, that's what they do so they create facebook campaigns their objective is traffic they select this they tell facebook all we need is to generate traffic to our website and then there will be increasing followers viewership interaction brand love <clears throat> this is for certain companies because if you see let's say you hear about a particular company you know what this particular company they sell custom made watches and whatever you go to their facebook page or instagram page and they have like 370 1000 5000 4000 followers you'll be like oh i'm not sure about this company all the companies understand that they need to have followers as a vanity metric to show tell people that assure them that okay you know we have online presence and all so some people run facebook ads just to increase followers on their facebook or instagram or whatever and some people want to have views so for example there are a lot of uh, <coughs> budding artists some established as well when they release a song on youtube or uh, a trailer of a movie a company releases they push a lot to increase views on their trailer videos and stuff so people will be like ah oh, this video has a lot of views people are interested just to create a hype right <clears throat> this is just one example and then brand love some people have different kind of posts and they want people to kind of interact with their brand and so for example coca-cola is an example so when coca-cola runs campaigns in most of the cases they select engagement as the objective they want people to watch their video comment on their video share their video and stuff like that right <clears throat> to create that brand engagement with uh, with the uh, users then the fourth one here is leads so this is uh, specifically this is like a usp of facebook so if you are a new um, let's say real estate agent right you don't have a website you don't have a company or you have a company you don't want to go through creating websites for your projects and stuff like that or you are let's say a garage <clears throat> so facebook gives you this option that okay you know what you can generate leads within the platform so you click on the ad and you submit your details which i will show you how it looks like and just create leads right then they call them or a lead is basically a prospect customer who has shown interest then you talk to them and they might uh, end up buying your product or service and then uh, the fifth one is app promotion so if you are a company who has an app basically and you want to promote that let's say for example amazon or flipkart or any other e-commerce platform they launch in a new market or they think that okay you know what we need to increase installs on our app or uber eats or any kind of delivery app or any any kind of app basically and they want to increase installs on their app so you have this particular objective where facebook will try to promote your app right increase your installs and not just increasing installs some companies for example if you have um uber eats or food panda app on your phone right and you have not been using it for a while now they can run campaign to only people who already have their app to make them order again through the app right that's called re-engagement app campaigns and then the sixth one is sales or conversion based campaigns which is like the most common one where um, let's say if somebody has an e-commerce store and they want to sell a lot of products so they show ads to on facebook people click on the ads go to their e-commerce website and buy products and basically any kind of action on their website so even for example the real estate example i gave let's say there is a real estate company a developer who has launched a new project but they want people to go to their website download brochure or fill a lead form on their website so any kind of action you want to get on your website you can run these kind of campaigns where you will select sales basically it is website action driven campaign and some people use it for retargeting so for example i know certain companies 
who do not run ads uh, except retargeting, which means they have an e-commerce store. Anyone who goes to their store through, I don't know which source, and they leave products in the cart, they only retarget them. They show them ads only after you add something to the cart and do not buy. So these are all examples of sales and conversion type campaigns. So I hope this is clear for you that what kind of advertising, this was just to give you an idea. We will know all of them in detail. This is just to give you an idea because if you are a super beginner, you'll be like, why do Facebook, uh, some advertisers run Facebook ads? You might have some examples, but you'll be like, okay, there might be other reasons. This is all, okay? Now, with that done, I wanted to show you some of how do the ads look like. For example, if you see here, these are the four types of ads you can run on Facebook. When I say types of ads, it is the format. How will they look, right? Now, the first thing you observe is whether it's a image ad. Image ad means that the ad, the main asset in this ad is an image. Now, if you see that, if you even scroll your Facebook or Instagram feed, one out of maybe four posts you see is an ad. Sometimes one out of five, one out of six, depends on a lot of factors. But if you just open your app, Facebook or Instagram app, you scroll, you will see every four or five posts, there will be one post which says sponsored. That means it's an ad, right? It's an IB standard. They have to mention that which one is ad and which one is not. This one is a video ad, straightforward. Here you have this image. Here you have a video as an ad. <clears throat> then we have carousel. Well, you will see basically multiple images which you can scroll and you can check out. These are called cards, each of them. So for example, here, this is an ad of a particular cosmetic product. Initially, they are having showing a human hand. Then you can see maybe the you can scroll right and see other products. People use it um, in a different way. And then this one is collection ads. Now, this is not a carousel because you see it's a carousel will only appear like these standard cards. This is like a, a main asset. Then they have are showing different kind of product products. This kind of ad format basically Facebook promotes for companies who sell different products and want to show different variations of the products. It can be a car company as well showing different models or the same model in different colors. But these are the four types of ads basically you can run on Facebook, right? Now, what happens is this video ad, sometimes you'll be watching a particular video on Facebook and bit in between it will say uh, ad will start in three, two, one and play the video, right? That basically is a video ad. It's just it's appearing in a different form, right? So this ad will not appear like this if it appears on Instagram story or Facebook story. It will cover the whole screen, but basically it will be the same video, right? And Facebook keeps changing them. So some sometimes it will just create a small video, big video, complete full screen, half screen, whatever, doesn't matter. But these are the main four types of ads you see on Facebook. Now they appear a slightly different on Instagram, which I will show you, but that's all you need to know. On Facebook, you run image, video, carousel, and collection ads. Now, where do these ads appear? So, because if I, show you all the formats will be too much we, when we traffic them we will basically create most of them and tell you when to use what but this is just to give me an idea now when we run facebook ads you need to understand one thing when we say uh, they have a reach of 3.9 billion obviously 3.9 billion do not go to facebook alone right so when you run a campaign on facebook ads you need to know where all it can appear. This is very important. Some people don't know it even working after two years on uh, Facebook ads. And then the client will be asking, I saw my ad here. Why is it appearing there? And they'll be like, I don't know. So you need to understand that <clears throat> the ads, when you create a Facebook campaign, you have a video ad. Let's say you have only one video ad or one image ad, right? It can appear on four different type of products let's say one is facebook one is instagram i will explain them but the all of them are called placement so these are called placements so for example facebook in feed is a placement so you have an option while you create a campaign that which placements you can say okay i want to show my ad only on facebook in feed which means when somebody is scrolling their feed my ads appear there, that's only. So you selected this as your placement, right? And you excluded all other placements. So just get familiar with placement. 
Now, apart from the four uh, categories, ads might appear in Oculus as well. So Oculus app, the, as I told you, Oculus was acquired by Facebook, but it's like 0.0001%. So I didn't even mention it here, right? But what are the four main categories of placements where the ads appear? If you create a campaign on Facebook ads, it might appear on any of these if you do not exclude any of these. So one is Facebook. On Facebook, you see ads in feed, you're scrolling, you see in between like the previous example on your explore in your facebook app stories and reels if you are watching stories and reels on facebook then in between you can see an ad which i'll show you how it all of them i'll show you just this is just to get familiar don't get confused if you don't understand okay what is right column and what's not we'll explain all of them but you need to understand that there are these kind of placements where the ads can appear search results you go to facebook you search for let's say for example your friend sometimes in the search results you will see an ad and in stream video which i told you you're watching a video on facebook and in between it will show ad appears in one and you have to watch an ad and then the video continues that's called in stream video right corner is when you're on facebook.com website on a desktop on the right side you will see an ad which i'll show you same thing in Instagram, in feed, right column, uh, stories and reels, uh, search results, messenger, you can see these ads on Facebook uh, messenger as well. And then you will see these ads on audience network, which is third party websites and apps. So for example, if you create a campaign on Facebook and you let it run on placements, you can go to let's say Candy Crush and you see your ad there. It's quite possible. If you don't want that on apart from Facebook, Instagram Messenger, then you will have to exclude this placement. But it's quite possible. You can go to BBC.com and see your ad there, an image ad there. Any any kind of website which is not Facebook owned, right? So um, that is called audience network. It's called audience network because uh, all the websites and apps who tell Facebook, okay, you know what, you have authority to show ads on our Facebook, uh, on our website and apps. They basically put some code on their website and app, apps and Facebook shows ads there. Facebook charges advertisers and takes a share and gives rest to them. Let's say, for example, if I run a campaign on Facebook, hypothetically, and I target only partner audience network uh, placement. So let's say I spend $100 on this particular campaign and all this $100, what Facebook will do is take $30 and 70 it will give to all apps and websites where the ads actually appeared. So that's why it's called network because the list of all those apps and uh, apps and uh, websites who have given Facebook authority to show ads on their websites and apps is called uh, Facebook audience network. If you want to know more about this, you can even go to my YouTube channel. I have some videos there. I have fundamentals of performance marketing course where we discuss this. I have some videos on my YouTube channel where I have discussed this in detail. Then we have um, examples how Instagram, because you saw the Facebook ads. Now on Instagram, it might appear like this. You're scrolling your feed. It might look a bit bigger and uh, you have here book now, shop now, you can choose whatever. If it's an in-app ad uh, by an app, it can say install now, oh, it's here. And then uh, this is the ad which will appear between reels and stories, right? So this is how it appears on Instagram. We will know all of them in detail. This is just to give you an idea. Then audience network ads, this is how they will appear. So for example, you are on Candy Crush or any other uh, app score you're watching cricket score football score you will see an ad like this sometimes it will cover the whole screen it's called an interstitial and native is something like this it will you'll feel like it's part of the app anyways we'll discuss all of them in detail and this is the right corner ad which i was talking about here uh you see right column right corner ad so this is the one so if you're on facebook website Apart, if you're scrolling, this is your feed. On the right hand side, you will see these ads. They're called right column ads. And then in Messenger, also you uh, one is you if because in Facebook Messenger you will see these stories of your friends. And I think since last year. And if you watch these stories in between, you can see an ad um, like this. And then uh, even if you are checking your messages in between, you will see ads like this, which say featured and you probably can see one. You see you have messages with your friends and in between you see an ad like this. 
and it can appear even here on if you're checking your messages history or whatever and then um, apart from when i told you uh, traffic or conversion locations this is very important to understand so um, when we talked about leads i'm giving you a lot of information but this is very important to understand a holistic view once you have this holistic view and you understand i know everything where facebook ads can lead me it you become very comfortable and then it's easier to learn right so if you see an ad on facebook and if you click on it right one is let's say it says learn more or whatever one is it will take you to the lead form which will appear within facebook now apart from facebook app these are all the six things where this can lead you right so any ad you see on facebook or instagram or messenger if you click on it you can configure your campaigns to take the user to any of these six properties one is your website so for example if i am running a campaign for senator viran ads like selling courses i show a video or an image okay in 20 dollars you get uh, this performance marketing fundamentals course if a user clicks i want them to go to my website and buy the course there right some people like uber eats they want people to go to their app so if you click on an uber eats ad you most probably will go to their app and then a uh, website and app so for example in this case what happens is you can configure it okay if the user does not have so for example you see an amazon ad you don't have an amazon app then you will go to the amazon website otherwise you will go to amazon app if you have that on your phone then messenger as well so for example somebody will click on this ad and it will open in a messenger chatting with the company you might have observed because if you are a very small business let's say for example um, you are a service provider you just started online business um, you are telling people okay i can do home delivery wash your car or do a saloon or na uh, do nail paint for you or whatever spa you have you don't have a website you don't do all that technical stuff so you basically say okay anyone clicks on my ad they should go to my messenger and basically message hi are you available today i want to book your service or whatever that's possible as well and same thing with whatsapp because some companies uh, deliver and they take orders on whatsapp or whatever it's like a mini small restaurant um, like so they just deliver it within the community they want people to go to whatsapp and make order there because they don't have a website uh, where you check in check out add to your cart and whatever and then calls so for example if you are a real estate agent you are you help people rent get homes for rent so you're like okay I, because you don't have a website and all that stuff mostly it's used by small businesses so okay you have an ad okay you want to rent in let's say jumeirah lake towers you click on it it directly makes a call to him and he'll pick up hi whatever so why i'm telling you this because we'll discuss all of them because i want you to have an idea of overalls what are the all the types of ads what are all the types of uh, placements where an ad can appear what are all the types if somebody clicks on an ad because sometimes it goes to whatsapp sometimes it goes to messenger i want you to know all of them in kind of get familiar so these are all where you can configure your ad to take a user if they click now if you're curious about what um, leads and ads are which i showed you um here i guess um that why do people use facebook ads the fifth one the fourth one was generating leads so you'll be like what does it mean you might have come across this you see an ad you click on any button it opens a form like this it asks for your name phone number whatever you can configure i just want to know name i just want to know email address i want to know name email address phone number address whatever you can configure this form but the thing is if you click on this ad it does not take you to any website if you see the facebook app is still open it just pops up a form you click on submit and might have come across this kind of video so that is all for this particular this first video and i hope you enjoyed it thank you so much i will see you in the next one